Plus two constitution. Can't be used by this character. I don't like it. What? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Yeah, you don't need that. Uh, I'll give you that. I wonder... I need a plus one tower shield, damn it. Am I ever going to use this? I don't think I am. Bakken, what can you do for me? Ah! Oh. I found his radishes! Bakken's face brightens as he rubs his sides in satisfaction. That's kinda creepy. Yes, that's it! Hey! There's even more than I expected here. Thank you so much. Take this. You deserve it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Right. Cool. Hey, undead lady. How are you doing? Curiosity, the need for a reliable ally. You see, I must come to understand what my goddess seeks from me. Uragatha... Urgathoa gave me the powers of Inquisitor without declaring her will to me. I await her reply, any hint or trace or clue, and I suppose our meeting was no mere accident. Besides, Shaythal cringes. I imagine that several Kyonin assassins still pursue me. They never risk attacking me while I was under the patronage of the Aldori. They are unlikely to attack while I have reliable allies like you. Why do these assassins follow you? I don't know. They can't be. A they can't have been sent by the Queen. I am branded outlaw, but my punishment was eg was exile. And it is not custom for elves to contravene their own verdicts. My attack has shouted something about threat and blood. I suppose they are a splinter group of feeble-minded zealots! Or someone on a quest for personal revenge. Sure. Yeah, do you regret not being alive? A shadow passes over Jathal's face. You surely know how to ask questions. She says nothing for a long time. Two desires have led me through life. To feel pleasure time and time again and to achieve perfection. Unlife brought me closer to the second. I am changeless, torn from time. The chaos of the world and even the soul circle have no power over me. But everything's co everything comes with a price. Most things that brought me pleasure in life are meaningless now. How can I decide which is better? <laughs> yes. Perhaps, but the choice was made for me. I have nothing left but to follow the will of the goddess. 
Yeah, how do they? Yeah. Oh, so you can. Uh, what about carnal ple pleasures? A tactile, tactless and facile question. That pleasure is now as senseless to me as food or wine. Action without feeling. Jathal cringes. Yes. You don't need to sleep. But I hope you do not take this as a reason to invent ind additional responsibilities to entertain me during the night. I spend this time meditating and addressing the goddess. Okay, yeah, I have no more questions. Ah! Might sound strange, but I know less than others about Ur Urgathoa and her faith. My transformation into her Inquisitor was unexpected, but I will answer to the best of my knowledge. Why is the c cult of Urgathoa forbidden in much of Galarian? Because Galarian is plagued by narrow-minded cowards. Some tremble at the freedom granted by Urgathoa. Others fear the wrath of Phorasma and her priests. The Lady of Graves, Mother of Souls, Grey Lady. Phorasma is the goddess of birth, death, and prophecy. She shepherds Galarian's recently departed souls to their final reward. Upon death, souls migrate via the River of Souls to Phorasma's boneyard in the Outer Sphere, which sits atop an impossibly tall spire that pierces the Astral Plane. She is among the most ancient deities in the multiverse, but, her ke but keeps her knowledge of the fate of all souls closely guarded. Sure. Enough. March on. Ah. Yes, tell me about yourself. Oh, right, yeah. I think we already did this. I believe we did this already. That is a formidable sword. Uh, yeah. I'm the chieftain of your new tribe. Tribe always must have plenty food. Tribe's enemies must be tough, not some easy scum. Tribe's fighters must challenge the strongest enemies. Uh-huh. Alright. A dog! No stopping now. Glorious. Shit. 